We are taters. That's a fia booger, mom. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Okay guys, hey, hey y'all, welcome to today's vlog. So I'm pretty much just picking up right where I left off on the last one. I'm going to my appointment and I was gonna take you guys with me because, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they'll let me like have my camera while I'm in there, but I think it's gonna be like, it's gonna take a little while. And I just went to the, to the regular place that I go, like the hospital that I usually go to. I thought it was in the same building and apparently it is not in the same building. Um, so I was in the wrong place. Now I'm just rushing, trying to make it. It's just right around the corner. But um, it's at the cancer center, which is really kind of scary because it's like my dad died of cancer. And like, he this, he this is what he had to do. He had to come in here and do the chemotherapy and stuff. So I guess I'm going to be in there, sitting in there with everybody that's getting their chemo. And it's just like real triggering, I think. Um... I don't know which side to go to. Medical oncology. Anyway, so we'll see. Hopefully this isn't going to be like a mental thing and a physical thing, you know? Like, I don't know if I can handle any more mental anguish right now. I'm just too tired to be reminiscing on dad's cancer treatment. But, whatever. I, as long as I get better, I know it's going to be sad uh, if I have to sit there and see you know everybody that's going through that Ooh, sucks anyway i'm rushing 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 see if i can get in there and turn you guys on and hang out with me while i get my iv in It's, uh, it doesn't feel like anything. It looks like iron. I mean, it looks like rust, really. It looks just brown. I don't know. This is the little room. And I got me in, and I've got to come back like five times, apparently. And then after this, after I do this series of them, he wants me to come back when I'm at 30 weeks, like later on in the pregnancy. So, we'll see. Hopefully, I'll feel better. She did say that, like, in a couple of days, I might feel like I have the flu, like, body aches and pains. That doesn't sound very fun. She said that I probably won't feel better immediately. It'll take, like, a couple times. So, you know, as long as I feel better eventually, that's the goal. But, um, yeah, first one's in the books. Look at this fly. How you doing, big girl? We're almost there. This is the Green Drive Airport. So you know. Let's go. Are you happy to be home with Daddy? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's here. <laughs> That's the gender of your sibling. Should have sent it in. And it's here when we got to perfect. Oh. Hey guys, so today is a new day and we have been hanging out. We've just been hanging out at the apartment all day. We have rented an apartment in Greensboro, Greensboro area. Little regular old apartment. Um, oh, I love this though when we came in. That's right, that's why we're here, is because we wanted to be home with daddy. So, we got to see daddy last night, that was fantastic. And then when we got to the apartment, the box was there. So, y'all know the last um, vlog, I told you guys that Jenna, my bestie, was sending me a box and inside of it was a present for Sophia and it's either going to be a blue or a pink teddy bear. 
That's how we're going to find out the gender of the baby. So, this little girl is excited to find out who her brother or sister. She's going to have a brother or sister. We don't know. We don't know yet. And uh, there's been like overwhelming response that it's going to be a boy. So, maybe. Let's see. We didn't want to do it last night because she was ready to go to bed. We were all tired. Didn't feel like doing it last night. We just wanted to wait till we were all like fresh and so, dad went to work this morning and now we're waiting on him to get home. We got chicken in the oven. I baked some cookies and yeah, we're just waiting patiently for daddy to get home so we can go and find out the gender. I'm just like sitting here seriously trying my hardest not to open this box. It's just sitting there all day. That box just been sitting there looking at me like open me. But as you can see, like, it's not open. The seal has not been broken. I did not cheat, okay? So, Corey, if you're watching this, I didn't cheat. It's still here, unopened. So, this is gonna be it. I'm so excited, yay! We just got a few more minutes. Now, before, while I'm waiting on Daddy, I wanted to tell you guys um, what happened with the house that I was talking about in the last vlog. So, that, unfortunately I just don't think it's gonna work like we really want it to work but we're just gonna like sit and wait and see it's still a possibility it's just we're like we're like too far off it's like gonna it's gonna be like 40 it's gonna add like forty thousand dollars to our mortgage and that's just like not a smart idea with a baby coming so we really love that house it's like our dream house but at the same time we're not gonna we're not gonna get something that's out of our means and then lose all of it you know what I mean you know what I mean you know what I mean. So, we're just going to hold off. And if they drop the price, then maybe we'll act then. Hopefully, nobody else gets it and they drop the price. We know we got like the inside scoop is that they're building a house. So, their house isn't even ready for them to move into yet. They've still got two months. So, in two months when their house is ready and they are ready to move in and they're really ready to move out then if no one has bought their house then they're gonna drop the price that's what we're hoping and then we're gonna swoop in and give them a low offer <laughs> so that's the plan with that we're just gonna wait and see thank you all so much for your comments though telling us to go for it i totally agree we should totally go for it we're just not gonna go for it when it's like too much when it's too expensive isn't that right, big girl? And you know what? We love our house. I mean, it's not like we're living in, in shambles. You know what I mean? Like, we're fine. We love our house. I actually felt like I was cheating on my house just going to look at that house. But it is, it's amazing. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That is to be continued. <laughs> so, what do you think, Sophia? Is it going to be a little boy or a little girl in mommy's tummy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want it to be? Ah. Oh, you got teeth now. You can't bite mommy's face with your teeth. You can't bite mommy's face with you got teeth and they hurt mommy. You don't want to hurt mommy, do you? No. I don't think so. Oh, sounds like you got to spit up. Okay, here. I'm going to let you run free. The good thing about this little rental that, that we got, this little... Ow, ow, that's my hair. The good thing about this little Airbnb that we got is that it's all carpet and there's like nothing in here. It's very bare bones. So she can just pretty much run loose. And the lady that's renting it is like brand new. Oh, baby here. It's like brand new to this Airbnb stuff. And she has a little two-year-old. So And she's pregnant too. So we've become like fast friends. But hang on. Let me get this baby. She's like, stop vlogging and pay attention to me. Is that better, big girl? Yeah. <laughs> No, you're still a grumpy grump. We're going to have to get you out of that mood. We're going to have to get you out of that mood for our big gender reveal. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so that's it, folks. We're just going to hang out, wait for Daddy to get home, and uh, stay tuned because when Daddy gets home, we're about to find out what Mom's cooking in the oven. Isn't that right, good girl?